can't binge watch any more box sets. You can't binge watch <clears throat> any more box sets, all right? Stop binge watching box sets. Get out there and live your life, says the Twitch advert. And if you don't do it, then you will die whilst enjoying yourself watching thoroughly good entertainment on Netflix. You know what I say? I say do what you want. That's what I say. I say welcome to the live stream. And I say welcome to today's live stream where I'm wearing a shirt. Because I'm wearing a shirt, I feel like uh, it's... Um, I just feel like I can be a little bit more sassy. You put on a shirt, that's how you feel. Yeah, but good afternoon. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Of course, we've got the biscuit reviews coming in about a quarter in about 45 minutes. For the uh, latest biscuit review, we have four biscuits. There'll be our fifth biscuit on there. Hey, Fiery Toad. Hey, Tuckside. Hey, Mad Dog. Hey, Commander Coots. Bad Cat William. Griefed all of you guys already in the chat. Thank you so much for coming back every day. It is really, really awesome so far. I've had a lot of fun. Uh, and of course, if you have uh, seen us before, uh, I've muted that stream. What's going on there? Close that. Let's close that. We don't want to see that. Um, <clears throat> I don't think Zach will steal the biscuit again today. He's learned his lesson. He got the gift made of him. Thank you very much for that grief. And he knows never to do that ever again. Uh, but if you, yes, if you are not familiar with the, the live stream premise, um, I'm Edward Lewis, the community manager on uh, one of the community management team at Frontier Developments. And I have legitimately made all my way out to Beagle Point, all the way across the other side of the galaxy. I did it in my proper game, and it took me like 60 hours and stuff. And I thought, I need to jump home to uh, return to my homeland of Sol, or wherever it is I choose to turn it in, probably the very, very edge of the bubble, probably like out here somewhere, um, to turn in all of my data to make sure that I make lots of money, <laughs> credits, and fame. Uh, so I was going to do it anyway, I was going to be jumping home anyway on my lunch breaks uh, here at work and I thought why not stream it and then people can come along and I'll combine it with a silly biscuit show and then we'll all have a nice time. So that's that, that's the premise, you're all caught up on that. And Huerto Nuevo's here, Stroika's here, Commander Hatch, all the regulars, I love you guys. Let's carry on doing this. How's everyone been? Did everyone have a lovely evening? What did everyone get up to yesterday evening? Right, so this is where I'm sort of heading to because apparently once I reach this point, I can then head straight back forward. But for the time being, I need to make sure that ice cream guys here. Uh, all right, so over here at Irant. So I'm going to see. So I've got to head towards. Oh, what have I done? I've lost it now. I've lost the point. I've lost my reference point. Let's do that again. Come on, Mousy. Oh, is this Commander Hatch? Of course you're regular. You've been here, like, I, th I think you've been at least three out of the five this week. Um, so I'm heading towards this area, so I need to go back towards that. Nice and simple. Around about here. Let's see how far that is. And we're going to start the jumping spree. Oh, he can do it! I can plat 544. That's amazing. Can you hear my in-game stuff at all? I can't hear it. Thank you, Pleppy, for hosting, and nice to see you here in the chat as well today. Absolutely awesome. Uh, Fairy Toad says you watched me and I'm talking about 2.1. Did you enjoy it? I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought it was a nice, sort of interesting mixed response to how, how people are feeling about those, but I think it's pretty good. Also, I've had a shave. I don't know, it's had a, not, not to the skin, but just got rid of that little... Somebody commented yesterday it looked like a baby face with a beard photoshopped onto it. So I thought I'd get rid of it and just go for a standard baby face. Hello, uh, Plip, and... Captain Fluffy. Currently working from home, are you, Fluffy? This doesn't seem like working. This kind of feels a little bit like you're watching a live stream uh, about an idiot jumping home with a load of idiot friends. But you're welcome to join us and be an idiot with us. We love it. Paul Archer. Paul Archer's back. Thank you, Mad Dog. But I feel like it gets to a certain level, and I'm going to a wedding this weekend. Not my own wedding. Don't worry. You're the only man for me. Uh, but I thought uh, I would take it off just for the, because then I've got that perf perfect level of growth ready for the weekend, for Sunday. It's all, it's all carefully calculated. <laughs> Ed Talks Men's Grooming, that's right. This week on Ed Talks Med Men's Grooming, we're talking about the Gillette um, razors. Well, that's it, that's all I've got. Mr. Hatch. 
clients are. A chatbot game that has something to do with biscuits. Mad Dog, we'll, we'll talk, we'll chat in private about all this. Someone needs to give me all sorts of information about chatbots and all sorts of things like that. Thank you, Mad Dog, for hosting. It's very, very kind. The new Gillette 50 Blade Razor. 50 blades, all in one. Not only can you shave your face with this razor, but you can also open envelopes. No one likes to put their finger under an envelope just in case they get a dangerous paper cut. Well now, with the Gillette 50 Razor, you don't need to do manual tasks like that. The razor will do it for you with its inbuilt AI raising technology. Hi, Academic Dust894. Thank you for joining us. Um, and Captain Fluffy as well. Lovely name, Captain Fluffy. It reminds me of this. I picture a fluffy little dog. Um, as in, like a little, in a little space suit. Each new blade costs only nine ninety nine ninety nine 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 point nine 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 nine. So how much each blade costs? Only nine 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 ninety nine. There are people moving in the, the wings. So yeah, I'm making my home. I've got to make sure I fuel scoop, but I'm kind of keeping things about halfway, uh, a nice middling level. Um, when I should, I should start, actually, at this point, this is where we should start filling up entirely. So this is where we're going to have to just sit and have a chat, because there's going to be a lot of this, and that's the maximum fuel scoop that I've got. So you've decided to join me for this ridiculous trip. So I don't know. Also, I'm like seven subscribers away from having 150. I started this week off with six. So that's 150 subscribers in a week, man. If we could keep that rate up, I'll have 1,000 in seven, six weeks, six weeks, maths. Uh, oh god, yes, we're almost full. That takes, a, it's a lot quicker. Because when I'm doing that at home, I'm sitting there like going, come on, come on. So at least here I can just chat to you guys and it'll make it feel like it's going faster. Thank you for being my compadres, my backseat drivers, my friends, and my not Biffy says biscuits FTW. Yeah, absolutely biscuits FTW. Oh, and I've got a classic in, in store. I said, I said I'd separate the classics, but I'm feeling like this is a strong contender, potentially for the top spot. But I, I've never really been into the biscuits that I'm going to show you. To be completely honest with you, they're quite, they're quite standard, but they're a classic. And there's got to be a reason why they're a classic, right? Sometimes simplicity is best, as we've learned with the rich tea, which is third of four, so actually now. Right, let's fill up a little bit, and then head down, and jump, yes. You are back to you gamers, I mean that's fine and we like that. <clears throat> they, they, you can't, we can't spoil what biscuit is Captain Fluffy, I'm very sorry. Um, we can't spoil what the biscuit is, because that would ruin it. So we've got to wait till the end, we've got to wait until 10 to 2, and then I run and get a cup of tea, come back in, grab whoever I see on the way in case we want a special guest, do the dunk test. I've got the, um, the spreadsheet ready to go. Commander Hatch enjoyed the time travel last night. I hope you didn't trigger any nasty time paradoxes. You wouldn't believe the kind of hijinks that I got up to when I was traveling through time. It was a ridiculous four hours. No, there were no time paradoxes, sorry. But you should watch it. If you haven't watched it already, uh, Adam Burke Waite came and had a chat with us yesterday. It was a lot of fun. Really, really nice to see him. He's a very wise man about missions and stuff. Uh, I thought it was good. I thought it was a nice, uh, wide variety of information. Oh, I'm good, El Muerto Nuevo. Uh, that's good. Not Biffy, he's living vicariously through you, but I'm a Brit living in the States and I don't have access to the classics. I'm providing a very a v a valuable biscuit service. That's what I like to think I'm doing. I'm providing a much needed worldly service for the people who uh, can't eat biscuits. Sad people. Everybody, let's take a moment's silence for those who cannot eat British biscuits.
Ice cream van! <laughs> oh god, that ice cream van is such a troll. <laughs> Bitmouse, that'd be very, very kind of you, I'm sure. Um, I, I, yeah, we'll get that set up or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what this thing goes. Like, we'll just keep it going casually for a few weeks, and uh, if people start coming along, uh, then yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll do something. I'm, I'm trying to sort of not take it too seriously, really. FSD malfunction. Everyone do a shot of water. Of course, it's one p.m. One forty-five. One thirty. Shot, FSD malfunction, here you go, frame shot online. Frame all right. The ice cream van is parked outside all of day outside Frontier Developments because um, as a company we like our ice cream. David Braben insists that the ice cream stays there and rings its bell once every uh, 13 minutes. Um, you can decide whether that's true or not. Um, but it's not, so... Wow, Kitty, I have no idea how to answer your question, but please accept this. Who is this Kitty put a question? What? Um, uh, Andrea, what's that post from? Where do you post that in? Hmm. Yeah. Digesters or Bourbons says I so kicks. Well, you'll have to wait to find out. You might be onto something there. Who re who responded to that? Was it one of the devs or or was it just another? Don't you love it when you wake up with a cold? No, I don't. I, I in fact hate that more than you can possibly imagine. Oh, here we go. Some actual new discoveries here. Uh, so let's check the system out and see if there's a earthquake or anything else useful. Does anyone else want to help? This is where we're going to look at the screen now. For the first time, you're going to have a look around. El Metro Nevo, it has. It's failed once already. Uh, anybody else? So these are all going to be useless. No point scanning any of these. You can listen out, can't you, as well, for certain things. But it doesn't look like anything good there for me. Moving on. Bad Cat Willow asks, so Edge, should the Planners and Plotters group start the beta pizza engine for the 2.1 release next week? Um. It's completely up to you. But what I will say is that we do actually get fed as well for when people are doing staying behind late at nights and stuff. Frontier do cover getting pizzas in and things like that. So well, last time that we did a big one of those for the for the launch, in the end we asked people to donate money, cut money together and donate to the charity instead. Um, that said, people still don't mind pizza turning up into the into the office. That's no problem at all. You know, people people like that stuff. So. It's completely up to you. Hello, everybody. If you are just joining, 42 viewers. I think that's a peak for the Edward Lewis lunchtime biscuit a thon. Uh, if you are just joining us, thanks very much. Uh, this is my journey home, all the way back to Seoul. Uh, I've got, we've got a long way to go. A long, 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 long way to go. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of jumps. And every lunch hour, I was going to be doing this anyway, so I thought I would stream it out for people to watch. And we've got biscuits as well for the biscuit review, including a amazing. Uh, Excel spreadsheet that sorts it out for me and everything and is never there are never any problems when I always use it correctly but yeah join have a chat talk to people in the chat there's like all, all loads of the, all the regular guys are here already getting regulars into this and I really really like that it's a lot of fun so uh, they're very dear to me these people so do do chat say hello <clears throat> I don't know what that noise is, if you can hear that noise. It's the, uh, the gas slowly being sifted into the room. It's a bit dark, isn't it? <clears throat> you 
you're the top elite streamer at the moment, Ed, so no pressure. That's only because you're not doing it, Toad. If you were streaming, then you'd be the top one. I don't mind being second best to, to Toad. Uh, Coates is a lovely man. Look at him. He's the first, he's the first of the mods. I've received no more mod applications yet, but I'm still, I'm still thinking about the idea of making everybody in the chat a mod. Um, so yeah, who, who wants to know questions? Who wants to know about Elite Dangerous? Oh, we've got a nice binary. Or oh, a trinary! Could it be more? Let's have a look. Let's get some fuel scoop on the go. That is massive as well. There we go. Fiery Toad, you can you can be a, maybe maybe Fiery Toad could be a mod. How do I do that? Fiery Toad, I trust you. Don't do any don't do any nasty things. Don't ban people for no reason just because you don't like them. I know that's what you like. Right, let's see what we've got here. On our ridiculous <laughs> oh, I was a whoa. That was a surprising turn of events. Five. Look at this guy as well, he's massive. Alright, mate. You're a massive little guy, are you? Look at that. Yeah. Stars. Massive stars. That's one of my favourite systems, just of its sim I like its simplicity. Staying away from there. Yeah, all right. Andrew Kitty, oh, thank you so much. Um, we should, uh, I will make more mods. I, I know, I know Fighter very well, and Coots is actually a real mod on my, uh, but we'll do it, we'll sort it out. Oh, I've taken off the thing now. I, I could make Andrea Kitty a mod, I think, as well. We'll, we'll see how it goes, we'll, we've got to, um, we're still we're still new in this relationship together, you know. I need to decide on people. Some people I know, so we'll we'll work, we'll work something out at some point. Uh, where am I going here? Here we go. This is where I'm going to. This is where I'm. This is my first waypoint goal. Is over this way. How many mile? How many light years? Nine thousand two hundred fifty twenty-five fifty-five to get to there, and then we'll be on our way back. He said, sighing, sighing loudly. We really need to be doing. About a thousand two hundred and fifty per hour, but that's probably not going to happen because I'm distracted by biscuits and uh, people in chat and stuff. So, come on, it's a shame. There we go. Uh, that's going up quite high, isn't it? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what it's getting there. That seems fine. This is fine. This is okay. Uncapping Badger says, Ed, serious question, you're working on Elite all day, right? Then you play Elite in your own time, right? So you're not getting burnt out from all the Elite. I know I would, even though I love this game. So what I did was, when I was playing Elite, so I work on Elite all day, but it's like working with the community. So I'm not just sitting there playing the game or staring at the game constantly. I'm staring at a lot of content created by other people, but um, working with the community and writing newsletters and preparing the streams and gathering all that content together. And I do a little bit of Planet Coastery stuff as well uh, while I'm there. Working with Influence Program, working with influencers and just chatting. And, and doing all that side of the community engagement side of things is um, an absolute pleasure. So when I did the, when I jumped out and I had to go home and I would sit for six hours jumping out to Beagle Point at a time, I did start to feel a little bit sort of burnt out. But that's why I wanted to do this stream. So I can feel, but I had like a week or two where I didn't play any Elite after that. After I made it to Beagle Point, I was like, that's me done. Everyone shot, FSD malfunction. Basically, if you're confused by that, there's another thing that I'm introducing. Uh, a drinking game where we pretend to be playing a drinking game, but we're not really playing a drinking game because you can't drink while in the daytime whilst at work. Uh, so, uh, if you look at my modules, look at my FSD drive. That was from heat damage. So every three or four, or around about that, it starts to cut out the FSD malfunctions. So every time that happens, we've all got to do a pretend shot. I gave me 17. Ed, can I show you what I've been up to? It depends what you've been up to. Don't worry, whenever this is a rough guide to press this scans. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not. I'm going to. Captain Fluffy gulps tea. Great. 
teetotal, very fun. The drinking game isn't really a drinking game, remember that. It is pretend. <laughs> it's a pretend drinking game. 28. <coughs> what time are we on? 20 past. Loads of time left. It's lunch time. Loads of time left. And then I've got to go write the newsletter, of course. Uh, I've been writing it this morning, but we've got the assets to grab together. But it's a very, very exciting one today. Loads of cool stuff about the engineers. And uh, fingers crossed some in-game shots um, for um, uh, the actual UI of how you'll go through the... I don't want to promise you anything, but it's very cool. Exclusives here on the Edward Lewis stream where I definitely shouldn't be talking about that kind of thing. Malvenue, yeah, I should have done that. Like, I really should. I know when I was doing my long distance exploration, but I was so naive. I started off in a, this is a scout as well, so this isn't even an ASP, ASP explorer. This is an ASP scout. And I started off feeling like, so like, oh, you know, I'm not, I'm only going to go Sagittarius A or just like a little bit, a little bit, and I'm not going to go all the way. And then I uh, got to Sagittarius A. Notice that. Malvenue, yeah, I should have done that. Like, I really should. I know when I was doing my long distance exploration, but I was so naive. I started off in a. This is a scout as well, so this isn't even an ASP, ASP explorer. This is an ASP scout. And I started off feeling like, so like, oh, you know, I'm not, I'm only going to go Sagittarius A or just like a little bit, a little bit, and I'm not going to go all the way. And then I uh, got to Sagittarius A. Noticed that it was only in the distance, like the, the Beagle point guys were only a few steps away. And I was like, well. I may as well catch up to those guys. And then by the point I was there, I was like, well, may as well go all the way to Beagle Point. Um, so I've kind of screwed myself up a bit because I don't, I didn't bring any AF and U's out. So yeah, that's that's what happened. So I'm sorry. Sneaker biscuit reference in the newsletter. Uh, Hatch, no, I'm gonna try and, in all honesty, this is, this is our space. This is for us here. Uh, who come regularly to watch this and have fun together? Like I'm, I'm keeping it separate. I'm keeping it separate a little bit because I want, you know, I think it would be unfair for me to promote my own stuff on my own channels and things like that in the newsletter and stuff because it's sort of semi-official stuff, you know. I'm, I'm here as me, not as Ed from Frontier. Although I am Ed from, you know what I mean. This is stupid. I do have a stream HS0003. This is my journey home where I do a journey home, so I do jumps from uh, all the way from Beagle Point. We're about a thousand light years away from Beagle Point now. Uh, and I'm trying to make all the way home and I thought I'd stream it on my lunch breaks. So that's it. So it's 1 p.m. BST every weekday. Uh, pretty much every weekday. There might be times when I have to take a break quickly if I've got like lots of work on during the day. Sometimes I have to work on my lunch, believe it or not, um, to make sure that we get stuff done. But it should be pretty much every day. And then, yeah, I know you're Andrea in the usual streams. I know Andrea, and I really appreciate that as well. I know, I get, I get it. You're very welcome here. We, we like Andrea. And um, yeah, and then what else have we got? We've got, what else are we doing? Oh yeah, and at the end of the stream, when we've seen how far away I am still from Sol, from making it home, we then uh, do a biscuit review at the end. I've got like a special spreadsheet with all the bis like loads of biscuits on there. Has the stream died by any chance? Because it's saying I've got zero viewers and I had 50. Four, three, two, one. Please don't die. Dark Smack's here. I'll die when Dark Smack's here. Buffering a bit. Still alive. Okay, all right. Buffering a bit. Sorry, Tux Ride. I think that that's because Frontier Development, everyone on the lunch break, first of all, they, they grab ice cream, and then they grab, um, they come inside, and they put on uh, YouTube videos of uh, nefarious things. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. They all just watch things like Modern Family and... Uh, Big Bang Theory and other really nice, inoffensive TV shows. Um, not a fan of Big Bang Theory, I thought myself. Sorry to say that. I'm sorry to reveal that information. But uh, that's what you best get from these streams. You get information like that. 50 viewers, everybody. We have peaked on a Friday. We made it to 50 viewers. This is my first ever 50 viewers. Because it's, we've got Raise a Biscuit. I haven't got a biscuit with me. Raise a Biscuit for our 50th viewer. 50th viewer, welcome. 
You must now drink a eat whatever is at the top of the Oh we've got forty seven. Three people left. After I got excited. Oh. Killed, killed it for me. 50! Yay, strike it! Okay, it drops. I think you're seeing things slightly after I am. It drops very, very quickly. The Big Bang Theory. You never heard of the Big Bang Theory? HS0003. Are you in. Are you regularly watching the Elite Dangerous streams, the Frontier one? What's what? What's my dog ranting about? He's always doing a rant. Hello, Osric. Nice for joining us. Thank you. I thought you were going to miss it today, or was it yesterday that you missed it? I can't remember. But it's it's good to have you back. The, the my favourite thing about these streams, of course, is the fact that around about quarter to, ten to, that's when I leave to go and get a cup of tea, and that's when the chat seems to get busier. It's all good. Griefed what? Maxis has got it nailed there. I don't like being negative about things, but that is a an astute comment there that I won't put on. I won't speak aloud. <laughs> hey, Commander Hatch says, my wife watches Big Bang Theory and now she thinks she knows me. That's amazing. It's really funny. Did you always testing software and today nothing's going? Oh, that's an absolute nightmare. Yeah. So, 52 viewers. That's awesome. That's, this is our busiest it's been here. Um, how many subscribers do I have now? Have I made it past the 150 mark? Because that feels like a... That feels, that feels like an achievement for a... For a first week, feels all right. Uh, and also, this is where I am. Let's let's not spoil it. We've got 42 more jumps to do. I don't think I'll make all those 42 jumps today. Uh, but um, maybe I'll do some work over the weekend on the jumps, or I'll just keep it to this because I want people to be here for the entire journey with me. Because I think that's a lot of fun. 149, Roby One Kenobi, 149. We need our 150th subscriber. Come on, 150th subscriber. We need to breach the 150 today. F sorry, follows, isn't it? Subscribers is when you've got like that fancy thing where you can get subs and charge people to watch you or whatever it is that you do. Is that right? Is that what you do? El Muerto Nevo says specs of stream machine should be on the info. It, is that another thing that I have to do to be an official streamer? I don't know what it is. It's not that good though, apparently. Should be better. I keep forgetting to check my uh, system maps. You have subscribers when you're partnered with Twitch. That's right. Uh, no Earth likes jumping. Drive charging. That's a good idea by Cat Willem. Re really strong idea. I'm going to put that towards the devs. <coughs> well, over, I'm using XSplit. I use XSplit software, nice and simple, uh, so I can do things like this on, on the fly. Imagine if this was the stream instead. <laughs> just a picture of my face. Oh no, yeah, and then that in the corner. Just opposite, opposite worlds. <laughs> but I bet some people do that, don't they? Uh, who needs... <laughs> I'm gonna have to change that, I'm sorry. That was silly. There you go. Back. The world is, the world is back in order. Nine new objects, what did we get? Uh, there you go. Fine. P 
people with huge egos, even bigger than mine. I don't believe it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, hold on. Now we need to be sort of. If I just sort of, I don't know what the back of my head looks like. So I'm really sorry if it's like got an alien on it or something. Did it look like I was flying? Did it look like I was a spaceman? Well, I'm a spaceman. Oh. Uh, Shinari Ranali says, how far... Uh, <laughs> floating head was ridiculous. How far from Sol am I? Uh, I'm going to wait until the end of the stream before we have a look. Because I like to sort of surprise ourselves with it. Like, oh, and then everyone can sort of guess how far we are. Um, but, hey, you tell you what we haven't had in a while. An FSD malfunction. Hey, it's still going. This is like seven jumps in a row without an FSD malfunction. That's pretty, pretty good. Did it look like I was flying? <laughs> 62k what? Shenari and Ali, are you insinuating that I should shoot myself in the head? If I had some moody lighting in my room. Two thousand five hundred thirty-four light years. Currently, or by the end of the stream, is that your guess? Sixty-two thousand would be amazing. I don't think we're going to make it that far. Captain Fluffy's got himself a Yorkshire tea. Fantastic choice. That is what I will be dunking later. Dunking into. Can't dunk a cup of tea, can you? Yeah, come on, Coots. That's a different kind of stream. That's right. Moody, moody lighting stream. That's on the, that's the weekend stream, which I won't be doing. <laughs> I've got to have at least two days up, haven't we? <coughs> so, uh, what's everyone up to this weekend? <laughs> so tired. I'm so tired of all the jumping. Ugh. I might send an email to Frontier Developments to see if they can help me out with any giveaways for my stream. Things like that. See if they can do some uh, promotion from the official Elite Dangerous account. It's not gonna happen. So how, m fine, two, right, okay, so that's, I think that's four in a row. Four in a row? Someone's, nobody's counting. Going away to Yorkshire for the weekend, Aria Kitty. Lovely stuff. That sounds nice. A river clean up and a litter pick. That's really nice. What are you doing? Where, where do you do that? Stop being so. I'm going to be sitting around playing video games all weekend, and you're out there doing actual, real, nice, charitable work. How dare you? Well, we've got another busy system here. Let's not go anywhere near that middle section there. That was scary. All right, so how many stars do you reckon we have? We've got, we had five before, didn't we? Was it five? Yeah, that was pretty impressive. Let's have a look. No biscuit bobbleheads. Get an affiliate link, should I? That'd be so cheeky if I got an affiliate link. I can just give myself the affiliate link. <laughs> not, as, not as cool as the other one. Is there anything worth scanning there, anybody know? Anything worth scanning in Iorant FYLC71? Anyone know that? I'm not going to turn that into the CG by the end of the week. That would be crazy. Also, how many hours do you think I have to play this weekend to make it back that far? It's really good of you. I was really, I like that. Aren't you, don't you live Scandinavia or something? Four, 
I think I've real value grief, thank you. Yeah. So I just wanted to double check before I jumped out of there, but it was too late by that point anyway. Everything I do is automatic on this thing. I just automatically just press buttons and go. Angry with Warren Essex. Uh, yeah, great. Herding child child beasts, child beasts. So if anybody's just turning up and wondering what the hell's going on, um, maybe I should write some sort of description in the uh, in the chat in the thing below, and then so people so I don't have to keep reminding people of why I'm here. Uh, is that worth doing? Any other tips? What we need to do? Let's make should we make a list together, chat, before this thing gets any bigger than fifty viewers. Let's go through some details. What do I need to do? Tell me in the chat. Be just regular streamers. Mad Dog, Toad, are you still there? If you are, help me out with some uh, some pointers. Uh, what we need to do, let's let's go bullet point list of things that we need to do to improve this stream. I've already got somebody working on some artwork for it, actually, for the top banner bit. So that's that's already covered. <coughs> stream up time. Better description. Stream up time was that like when I'm streaming? So like write details saying like 1 p.m. So that that's in the description basically would be like lunch time, come and have lunch with me at 1 p.m. Yeah. Stream title says it all. I get that. Snazzy logo. Yeah, I'm working on that. Chat rules about the stream, who you are, interesting links, etc. These are all good things for the pronounced player. Great. And why you are here? I just found out you have your own Twitch channel, Laguna Hunter. Yeah. So this is my own channel. Basically, I'm doing like I stream at lunch times and I jump home. Or I'm jumping all the way back to Beagle Point, uh, back to Sol from Beagle Point. I was going to be doing it anyway on my lunch hour, and I thought, well, why don't I invite people to come along and watch? And then I've combined it with a biscuit review show as well. So in the last 10 minutes of the stream, I run off, grab a cup of tea, come back, and we review a biscuit together. And uh, I have an Excel spreadsheet with all of the uh, all of the previous scores on there, so we can find the ultimate biscuit. By the end of sort of 60 streams, we'll have 60 biscuits, all actually in there with different score levels and stuff. So. Bob more Twitter to up your viewer account. I kind of don't, I feel awkward about doing that, so. Yeah. How long have you been streaming? This is my fifth day. An overlay, perhaps? Maybe I'll get an overlay. I don't know. I'm eating elite for lunch, that's right. Overlays are overrated, but I think sometimes they can be quite cool because it keeps people informed of what's going on. Uh, accident counter, that's good fun. Uh, I need to get Twitch bots and things. Chatbot to fill around morons. We don't have any morons here. Morons, they are immediately um, unable to access the stream. They, I have a moron checker, and they filter out the morons before they even arrive. FSD malfunction counter is a good idea. Although, how we've gone loads without. This has been like seven jumps without. Don't get an overlay. All right, back now, so I won't. But I, I only put an overlay. I'd only put an overlay around like the opening section, but I don't even do that on this stream. I just do like a... I don't know. Crash bubble head gif, nice. Yeah, that'd be good fun. Uh, don't get an overlay, fair enough. Overlays are fun, they can be good, I think. They've got to be used in the right way. I like if they're used in a sort of careful way. Chatbot to flip around, you know. to 47, hit overlays. Interesting. Dark stream like the tube stream? Yeah, I'm really bad at fighting, but what I'm hoping to do once I've done this, if it's proved popular, is carry on doing it a little bit, take a little break from it, because it's going to be like 60 working days in a row of doing this. Uh, take a little break from it and then do the Road to Elite for, well, finishing off Exploration Road to Elite, and then doing like the Road to Elite for um, sort of all three elements, trade, combat, so we'll do combat second after Exploration. So that's just what I've got in my head, planned out for it. And then we can, every now and again, throw in a stream about, like, Lost Winds or another Frontier Developments property. Who knows? <coughs> yeah. I mean, I've set, like I said, I've, I've sort of set up 
the streams, obviously, for the Elite Dangerous stuff, like I do all that myself and the Planet Coaster stuff, so all the overlays that you see on, on anything there has been set up or, or, or actually made for me by one of the artists, but I sit with them and we, we go through it and, and, and create that stuff together. But like in terms of the, the actual stream production, it's all me. But um, it's just more stuff like the uh, the chatbots and silly cookie counters and, you know, that, that sort of... We should do a calorie counter. How many calories have I consumed in all the episodes? And we just add up all the calories of all the, of all the biscuits all together for some reason. 30 jumps, and I still haven't had an FSD problem. What is going on? <coughs> Bitmouse, thank you very much. It's a, it's, I just kind of felt like I just wanted to have a chat with people. Um, so it's really awesome to have so many people here. And like, even when we have, um, even when we have like lots of, even if we get 50 people, I still want to, you know, which I think is a really stupid amount of people to come along and watch me just jump in from stage, uh, system to system. We're still going to be uh, chatting, uh, keeping things simple, and keeping things relaxed. This is much more relaxed than the official streams because it's my own time, isn't it? I can do what I want on my own channel. Um, and what's in the newsletter this week? Asks Commander Coots. Again, this is my own time. We don't talk about official work business. But it's very engineers heavy, so it's got lots of detailed engineers, like screenshots of engineers and stuff like that. So get excited for that. Should be good. Rumour has it that Karash is going to hit Combat Elite. About time. Yeah, I spoke to him on the phone the other day, actually, and he said, I'm finally about to actually hit... Uh, hit... Uh, yeah, Elite, so you should watch that. If you already don't follow Karash, definitely head to Karash Landing. K-E-R-R-A-S-H Landing. That's his Twitch, I think. 57 says he's joined because biscuits were mentioned out of curiosity. Yeah, about quarter to. So in about five, three, three to five minutes time, I'm going to get a cup of tea and we're going to review today's biscuit. I haven't revealed what today's biscuit is, but I will be bringing up the, uh, the f yeah, the adverts are annoying, aren't they? Those adverts. You need to get pri a premium to get rid of them as well. And it's all like telling you how to live your life in that Expedia advert. Go out and do things. Do things with your life, otherwise you'll die depressed that you didn't do things. That's, that's why they didn't hire me. That's why I didn't get the job for the Expedia PR role, because I wasn't particularly enthusiastic. That didn't happen, by the way. I'm just making this up. Um, do you do 100% what you want in this Nugget Ninja? Yeah, sort of. I mean, I'm just, I just come to chat with people. I'm still, I still work for Frontier Developments and stuff, and I'm still literally in their office using their equipment right now. Uh, so I can't in in our office using that using our equipment now. But I, it's just more my own time. So that's why I want to do these because I have to be a bit more relaxed. And I was just going to do it anyway. I was going to be doing these jumping home and these. I was going to jump home anyway. And on the way out, I was like, actually, like I came up against some scrapes and things like that, and had a bit of fun on the way. And I thought what would be really, really fun is if I just did it on the way back and had some people to chat to. So that's why I'm here. 57 viewers. That was a jump. Have I made it to 150 subs for the first week? That's what I want to know. 150 follows, sorry. 150 follows. Bad Cat Willem, if you want to send some biscuits from around the world to review, I would. I think I've got some French biscuits on the way already from um, uh, Rooks, who isn't, doesn't seem to be in here today. Was it Rooks? Or was it Niku? No, it's Niku. Doesn't seem to be a Did I play ED before I joined Frontier? Yeah, I did. Um, but I was given the account when I got the job. So well, I got the job, and I'd, obviously a few weeks before I'd start, uh, and I played it then. But I knew about it, and obviously that's why I was excited to start. Um, because I've been watching, I actually watched Giant Bomb's Quick Look all about it. Uh, when the, uh, I think it was the beta first, very, very first beta came out. The beta build, and uh, but I knew I knew about it before that as well. I knew about it when the, when the Kickstarter first came out because I've always been very, very into video games. Obviously, love love video games. It's what I do with my spare time. Pretty much all of my spare time is play video games. So, uh, yeah. Motorbikes. Friday Toads. Friday is his day off from streaming. That's why people are here. That's why we've got more people because it's Friday Toads' day off. Otherwise, they'd all be watching Friday Toad instead, and that's fine. Even though he streams all day every day, he still insists on stealing viewers for my 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 hour. That's all right. I don't. We don't want more than sixty viewers. It's all about refining the audience. Get it packed down to ten again, like the first day. 
What did I do before for Frontier? Asks Laguna Hunter. Well, actually, Fiery Toad and um, Mad Dog in the chat can can talk about this a bit because I did a, li a podcast with them over the weekend last weekend where I actually chatted a bit more about myself uh, and told people about what I did before this. Before this, I was an uh, internal communications at Volkswagen Group. I worked in Milton Keynes, which was a delightful place to work in. And before that, I was doing. Um, I wrote for magazines and things like that, video games magazines and stuff like that because I did a master's degree in magazine journalism and so I did a lot of that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, as my dog just puts in the chat, um, listen to the podcast, it's three hours long of me rambling. But that's that's the probably even more honest than this. Um, I am sweary and all sorts and r rude and despicable and you shouldn't, shouldn't listen to it. But it is very fun. We do have a good time. Don't we have a good time, my dog? Am I going to get Elite in CQC as well as in 3? Yeah, why not? Let's do that. I'd love to get Elite in all 3. I, I feel like I need to. Like, genuinely feel like I need to, to, to fully understand this game. I learn about this game every single time I pick it up. And to fully understand this game, I really feel like you need to have experienced every single type. And you can, you can understand it in theory. This is what I think about this game. You can understand how it feels to come out to Beagle Point in theory. But when you actually do it and you meet people out there and you're touching down and doing stuff, you don't, you realize that you, you've learned so, you, you don't know, you know very little about the game and you really need to learn by doing in this, in this game completely. I'm not gonna go postal, what? Uh, it's not a dark side of me. Uh, yeah. Uh, how did the spar go ahead? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, my girlfriend's birthday. It was lovely. We had a we had a, a very nice time. Um, it's very relaxing. There were lots of people there. There were more people there than I thought there would be. Yeah. Hey, Reg Reynolds, you're here for the biscuit reviews, and I know it. You don't have to hide. You don't have to hide that fact from me. All right, we're about to go and check and see how long we've got left to go before we reach Sol. How many miles? How many light years we are from Sol? Uh, so, how, do we have any predictions in the chat, first of all, about how far we are from Sol itself, before we jump in there and see how far we've made it today? Two minutes late. No, it's alright. It's 10 to. It's about 10 to. I want some predictions first before I press the button. Around 65,000 light is still. 63.5, good, yeah, it's good, yeah. 58, I've gone further out. Oh no, 58, no, 58 would be too, too far. 62,573, that's, I think, well, let's find out. Sixty-four thousand four hundred and fifteen. I've gone further away. Griefed. You were very close with 64,320. So, let me explain why this is happening. And we haven't seemed, we don't seem to have made any distance at all. The reason is that we have to make our way across here first before we get to an arm that'll let us cross over the void. See that void there? We need to get to a point, I think it's around here, which is 9,000 light years away. So we're actually gonna be going all the way across. I think it's actually around about there that we can then cross over. I don't know if you can see that on the stream. We can cross over, it's a, it's a long way before we can then cross. But once we've crossed, that's when we're gonna start seeing those numbers fall. But it's still gonna be a long, 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 long time. This stream is gonna take a long time for us to make it there. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna find, we're gonna make our way back. Uh, I'm not going the wrong way, no. That's why, you just read there, that's why. All right, so as we usually do, what I'm gonna do is very dangerously point myself towards the star. There it is, it's miles away anyway, so we're all right. Very dangerously point myself towards that star. <coughs> and, mute the microphone, go and get myself a cup of tea, all ready for the biscuit reviews. Well done for making it this far through the stream. Uh, today, I'm gonna bring up the app, of course, the, uh, not the app, the, um, this thing. Bring this up so everyone can see the biscuit scores as they currently stand. Uh, we have, of course, the Maryland cookie in top place, which took top place yesterday. Can the digestive biscuit, the classic digestive biscuit, take the top spot, or will it be lumped in between the rich teeth, Fox's Butter Crunch, or even below the Jammy Dodger? Let's find out in just a minute. I'm going to go get my cup of tea. I will be back with you very, very shortly. Goodbye.
It happened again. My numbers increased after I left. Why? Why does that happen? Why do more people come in? Here we go. So is everybody... Yeah, we should... I get, well, that's what I'll do. I'll get some lift music to play and uh, a screen. We need, like... Oh, yeah, here we go. This Seriously, I'm going to write a list down of all these things. Like, um... A thing that says, like, uh... Brewing or something. T like, brisket review brewing now. Like, or something like that. Yeah, so, anyway, I've got to... Mm. Um... We've got the Canon sponsoring this week's podcast. So let's do it. As you know, first of all, let's add the... It is a McFit... Oh, I've just spilt tea. This is going hot. This panic. Not too bad. It was, a, it was a mild spill. A mild, mild spill. This is, this is, this is what happens when you, do it, when you work with live animals. Uh, Alright, so uh, as you can see at the top of the... We've got here, so Digested Biscuit. It is a official McVitie's Digested Biscuit. The Digested Biscuit is a classic uh, British biscuit, certainly. So for appearance, uh, as we can see, you have the McVitie's logo on there. And it says the original. I wonder if that's true. And I do like the pierced uh, sort of holes in there. And I wonder what those are for. But it's very form... It's very round, very... Uh, I actually quite like the crisscrossing on the back as well. It's quite nice. What does everybody think? What does everyone think of the, of, in, in, the, in the chat between 1 and 10? I mean, I'm personally... It is a nice looking biscuit, you have to say, and the crisscrossing is fantastic as well. Like, the crisscrossing is really, really good. And, but it's not as good as the Jammy Dodger, and that's a fact. But it probably looks round about the same as the Marianne Cookie. 6.5. 6.5, everybody. I think that's it. Biscuits that, that, that Baba Ganoush. Sorry if you're American or from somewhere else. This is a. We've got five. We've got five in there. Five or six. Coots. Yeah, 6.5. I'm going to stick with 6.5. Five out of seven. Yeah, five out of seven. Everyone, every score is five out of seven for this one. Uh, test, test. Easy digestion, says Plep. Is that true? I don't think that's true. All right, so testing. Oh, I'll call it my microphone. There it is. I am smiling because it's nice. Nugget Ninja, that's it. We've got we've got a post dunk taste. Look on the screen. Look there. Sorry, I'm speaking with my mouth full, that's how excited I am. As much as I made it out that I really, really enjoyed that. And it seems as if everything's going for a six and I can't. But it was better than the Jammy Dodger. I'm going for a seven. I didn't quite enjoy the taste of the Marks and Maryland thingy. Texture is a bit dry. It's a bit of a dry biscuit. Um, but I thought, but I prefer it to the Jammy Dodger, so it's going to, have to be a five point five. But I think I think that's unfair on the digestive. I think that maybe it's a digestive biscuit that's a six. They're quite. It's quite. It is quite bland. It's quite bland. It's going to have to go back to a six. I, I'm, I like, see, I, oh, the appearance is 7, sorry, 6.5. The appearance is, it tastes going to be 6, you're right, I'm, I'm reverting. I'm reverting back, 5, it's a, it's a dry biscuit. Let me tell you, I, re it's good, but you need to slap a bit of cheese on it, that's what I'm thinking. It's quite crummy, I've got, I've got quite a little platter of crumbs here. So that means it's a 5. Not looking good for the digestive biscuit, I have to say. Dunkability, here we go. Here's really important. Here's a really important test. I've got my cup of tea here ready for the dunkability. Uh, are you ready? It's all part of the process. One, two, three, and we're up. As you can see, it's wear on the edges, but it's, that's a solid five. That's made it. Still very durable. See if you can survive the three second double dunk. Three, two, one. Very good. Not quite as good as yesterday's Maryland cookie, but very, very good. Okay, go for the taste. Mmm. Yep. 
Drunkability is a 9. It's not a 10. Because it wasn't as good. In fact, 8.5. Because I could see that it was wavering. I feel like I need to lower. I don't think it's fair to lower it, but I feel like I've given these scores too high. Because I remember the Jammy Dodger fell in. That was ridiculous. Was it the Jammy Dodger that fell in? So I'm going to be very controversial here and make edits. This is going to take a while. It's like a beta version of this. We're going to get there through time. Um, personal taste was really good. But it wasn't as good as the Rich Teal and Maryland cookie. So I'll probably go for a seven. Although, was it... No, it was about the same as the Rich Tea. Yeah, that seems fair. Satisfaction, got to finish the biscuit first. The rich tea. Was it the rich tea? Yeah. Undrinkability. That's seven. It was, it was the rich tea that dropped in, wasn't it? But the taste of the rich tea after the dunk was so good. Satisfaction. 5.5. Moorish nest, I don't want another one. I just don't want another one. 48.5, it's gone at the bottom. Will it be on Xbox? Academic Dust 894 asks. But Wolvie, you liked it. Is anybody disappointed with that? With that score? I'm a bit disappointed. Let's get them ordered. I'm a bit disappointed. It's just meh. You're right. The digestive biscuit is just a bit... Hmm. And I'm sorry, I don't, I, can't, I, can't, I don't control what I do. But yeah, I think some of those earlier ones might have been too high. What I might do is go back once we've... But that's not a good biscuit, is it? 48.5 out of... 80. Wow. Anyway. Not really, never really liked it. Yeah, if now, if you covered that in chocolate, maybe it'd be a bit better. But even then, I'm not that sure. Anyways. Well, that's it for uh, today's. Oh God. I've got lots of, uh, sorry, I've got lots of um, text messages coming through. Probably people going, Ed, we need you down here to write the newsletter now. But thank you so much for joining us for the first week of the jumping, the journey home combined with the biscuit reviews, as you can see. Gotta make sure I save it, save the document. And keep the current format, and nonsense. Uh, and, yeah, we've made it, so we've got uh, still 64,000 light years left to get back. Loads more biscuit reviews going ahead. Uh, lo you know, we've only done five biscuits, so... Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, 60 viewers, yay! How many subs have I got on this now? Not subs, but follows. I'll have a look afterwards. But thank you so much for joining me this week. And uh, yeah, I will see you at Monday lunchtime. Uh, for another live stream, make sure you check out Karash's stream tonight. That's uh, Karash Landing, K-E-R-R-A-S-H Landing, because apparently he's going to make it to Elite tonight. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and, yeah, see you all in the chat next time. And, uh, yeah, honestly, more suggestions and biscuits. We're going to have lots of... I, I think I might go for an exotic biscuit week next week where we have lots of chocolatey ones and things like that. Where can we send biscuits for review? Um, just email, uh, send me a PM on Twitch, actually. Send me a PM on Twitch and we'll sort that out. I don't want to get people bombarding us with biscuits and things, but one or two, I'm sure, would be, wouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, but yeah, people shouting Tim Tams. Oh, Bank Holiday Monday. Yeah, I probably won't do a stream on Bank Holiday Monday because that is a British holiday here. Uh, thanks for reminding me. So it's more likely to be Tuesday. So it'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And also we have got an Elite Dangerous stream on Tuesday too, Tuesday night, which is actually the Road to Beta Part 3. We are streaming that on Tuesday night because it's a very special week next week, of course, as you know. Uh, and then, uh, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'll be doing these streams as well as the official ones in the evenings. So you know about those. Uh, look out for the newsletter. Well, I'll be posting it in the next... Four, three, four, three and a half hours. But yeah, we'll see you later. Thanks very much for joining me. Thanks, chat. You've been a lovely first week here and I'm looking forward to doing lots more. Bye. See ya.